guys. I'm out here in the garage again. It's morning time. So, like I said last night, we already got the table marked, chalk lined right here. So we're gonna get this cut um, right here. So we get this section cut. We'll have the top layer for the top shelf. And then we will move over to working on the workbench itself. Um, like I said, it's gonna be eight foot wide and we're gonna come out three feet. So the top shelf is gonna be three feet. The bottom shelf is gonna be one foot. So that way when you're sitting at the workbench, the bottom shelf is farther back to give you leg room while you work under the workbench. workbench. So pretty cool how you can actually see the whole area where we're working at. Let's see, can you see me right here? Oh wow, okay, so the GoPro has a good wide angle on here, so it's pretty nice. Um, so you get to see me cut here and also see me install over here. So, all right guys.
Alrighty guys, we are back. So we got the beams in, the uh, legs, 4x4. Four four. And what we gotta do now is just cut straight across, make it plush. We still gotta screw into the frame of the garage. We still got a um, bunch of screws, but we only got two right here. Um, somehow, it didn't line all the way up with this last beam. It made it right there to it. So, we're gonna go ahead and run all the screws in, see how tough it makes this. If I think it needs something else right here, then I'll just put a, a two by four leg that goes straight down to the floor. But I think, I think it's gonna be pretty solid. And again, you know, try to cut that flush. So we can put the three foot plywood on there. Um, he only wanted it 30 inches tall. So I don't think we're gonna have room to put that shelf, that one foot shelf on the bottom, honestly. We will see after we get it all built and everything. But first we need to do is cut four by fours, finish screws, Next, put the pegboard up since I can actually get up in here right now and actually get the screws where I need to put the screws. And then after we get it all screwed up right there, we'll then put the plywood down and pretty much that's it for the workbench. Um, versus, you know, we got to put all the tools and everything on here, but that's pretty much it for the workbench. Like I said, the shelf, I don't know. We got to check the shelf. It's not a lot of room under there. We just have a lot of plastic totes that need to go on a shelf. But honestly, we can just slide it up under there. Or I can make the shelf where it's on wheels and just we can roll the shelf out on wheels so he's not having to reach in and drag. It's just, it'll be on wheels and you just pull it out. And then when you're done with it, just roll it back under there. So, it's an option. Um, so, we're going to see what we got here. Alrighty, be right back. Alrighty guys, well we got the legs all cut off here, nice and smooth across, besides a little knot, don't worry about that knot. Alright, so we're trying to put the pegboard up. The issue we're having right now is when we get the pegboard up, it's coming to right here, okay? We have nothing attached to the end of the pegboard too, so we're going to take a 2 by 4 run it into the side right there, just so we can have something to attach the end of the pegboard to right there um 
like I said, we ran the screws in there. The bench ain't going anywhere. It's it's solid. So we got to do that enforcement for the pegboard though, because if it's a lot of heavy stuff on this pegboard, I don't want it falling over. So, all right. So let's get started on that one.
Alrighty guys, so right here is the uh, the start of setting everything up. So pretty nice. So we got the wheels on there. So it's coming along pretty good guys. Looking good. Loving it.